stand in front of the door. How can he? And he'll pick me up and just throw me. I don't, why? I'm a girl. Stop that. Not one of those kids are my, ki- uh, are my kids. It really belongs to Ashley and Dan, right? Uh, dance. <laughs> and then, then uh, 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 Sammy belongs to Stephen and Christina. But, back to the Red Sea. Splash, right? If I've ever worked a job, like I was there, I was, I was just there for the food and the cake, right? Dave was like, and I love Dave's wife. She was like, I was like, we just, we just here for the, we just here for the, for the. <laughs> Splash! If either of those kids, Samuel or Lily, ended up with a job, as an adult, and they were a job, right, where they were forced to do something that they mm, may disagree with. Mm, I'm the writer. Mm, I'm not the pharaoh. I'm just here to be the writer. I'm the ride along. Call me ride along. Cassidy didn't they put them back in the western stuff like that. They had, um, uh, they had what you call sidekicks, right? Remember Robin, Batman, and Robin. Robin was just there for the the tights. <laughs> he was there for a pretty bad outfit. Batman did the work. Batman had the Batmobile. Remember Thundercat? Thunder, 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 Thundercat. Ho! Oh! Right here, you got the Thundercat, the main Thundercat with the sword, right? The sword over the eye, right? Remember that? I love that because I think it's biblically based. The sword over the eye gives you sight behind sight. Don't play with me. This, Christina did not like us watching it at the house because she thought it was too scary for kids. I like this Bible. You let them watch, um, 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 it's Love of Blonde. This Bible. <laughs> She's like, Jimmy, do they take out a Bible? Then no. <laughs> it's biblically based. The sword, the sword, Ephesians 6, right? The sword gives you sight beyond sight. The sword. But that's even a Thundercat, right? Thunder, Thunder, Thundercat. Oh, now he could have picked a different word. Thunder, Thunder, Thundercat, chicken. Because I don't like, you know, that, that word. Oh, you could pick a different word and I don't even want to say it. It hurts my feelings a little bit. But anyway, I started about Gomer. I did. I, I, that's where my mind goes. So anyway. You got that Thundercat, right? But remember Snarf? Snarf walked around. Smart Snarf became real smart. He did. So he would help them. He had like a little bit of wisdom. But Snarf just walked around and said, Snarf, Snarf, Snarf. He was just there to Snarf things. He Snarf things. So he walked around and said, Snarf. Every sentence has Snarf in it. Are you going to snarf that? And if people understood what that meant, are you going to smell that? Are you going to eat that? Something. No, but are you going to snarf that? Snarf. And when we wasn't talking about it, snarf, snarf, snarf. Snarf was just there to snarf things. Snarf was right along Cassie. Like, snarf was that, that sidekick, right? That just snarf things. So when I, I was watching a couple episodes, and any time they went anywhere, the Thundercats were smart. Because they went two by two or something like that. But anytime they went anywhere, they would never go alone. I'll go with, with Lino. Okay, I'm gonna take Snarf with me. Even the head, that's the head. Lionel, Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats. Oh, he would, he would, he would, he would need a partner. He would take, he would take, uh, they would go in two by two. So he would take Snarf sometimes. Even though Snarf couldn't fight. Lionel would keep the sword, Lionel would do the fight. He would say, Snarf, hide, and he would start fighting. He would take care of his partner, because his partner can't fight. All his partner could do is, mm, Snarf. And Snarfing is nothing. I should start Snarfing. Walk up to people and say, Snarf. <laughs> Go to the pastor, go to, go to David Lewis. Are you going to snarf that? <laughs> Let's see his face. Snarf that. Just give me some snarf. Give me some snarf. I'm hungry. Snarf me some food. Snarf me some food. Snarf. I'm not, I'm good for nothing but snarfing. I got a little bit of wisdom, but I got some snarfing. A little bit of wisdom, but a lot of snarfing, right? Either way, you need me. You, I can't fight, and I can't help you, and I can't defend you. But I'll come along and annoy you by saying snarf all the time. I, I, I'll do that. That's, that's my, that's my way house. I'm saying my way house. That's my way house. Everybody needs a partner, right? So Pharaoh took the rider. Now is the rider, the rider along or is he the driver? Hmm. Was it like a drive, a drive Miss Daisy type situation? 
Oh, I was like Saul, right? Remember Saul was fighting in the war that he should not have been fighting because Samuel told him the night before when he got the witch at Endor's house. He said, uh, next day, by like, this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, you, you and your sons will be with me. And Saul died that very next day. But he died because he dressed in. He thought he was smart. He dressed in another man's armor. When he dressed in armor, he dressed down as king. If he had stayed in king's armor, it's possible that he wouldn't have gotten shot the way he did. But he dressed in another man's armor because he did that, he got killed. The same way Ahab did. Almost. So I thought he was smart about dressing another man's armor, and we did that. The enemy saw them on a chariot. While these two men dressed like that on a chariot, dressed like soldiers, regular soldiers on a chariot, and they took shots at them. Sometimes when I dress down, does that highlight me? Hmm. <laughs> I dress down to look like I'm, I'm inside and outside of my mind, all up in my pity. Pastor David that I'm not parading my piety through praying but I'm parading my anxiety through praying could it be could it be that I'm parading right, and praying right, but praying in a parading fashion but it's really it's not that I am pious or proud of what I'm doing but I'm scared because what, what are the enemies three of the, the trilogy right we have the God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So, well, that's the Trinity, but the enemy has the trilogy, and that'll be anxiety, insecurity, and pride. So sometimes when you realize that or not, when you realize or not, sometimes the pride will be pride, but it, also, it can also manifest as a result of, or because of, or inside of anxiety. So it looks like I'm walking in piety when I'm looking in. It looks like I'm walking in piety. Also, it looks like I'm walking in propriety when I'm actually walking in anxiety. But if you don't look carefully, you'll never know. You think that I'm walking in pride. Most people that are proud, seem prideful, are prideful because they feel, they feel like they have to over, uh, uh, over uh, control every situation around them, overly stomp out every situation around them. Why? Because if I stop on your situation, uh, fix your situation, fix you, fix you, fix you, right? Then I don't have to look at my own life, which I am very insecure about. And in my insecurity, right, I become prideful because insecurity becomes prideful, right? That pride, when I start stomping people out and telling them, oh no, you're going to get these bottles out of here, or you're going to do this in this house, right? It's not even your house. But when I start doing that, I am parading my piety through my anxiety, which is uh, nothing in my house is fixed. And when I say my house, my temple, my body, nothing in my house is fixed. When I say my house, I mean my actual house, my thing I call home, and my, my home don't feel like a home no more, so I'm going to make, I'm going to do everything I can to make a, a, your home feel like my home, but that doesn't make me feel like I'm at home. I can't feel welcome in your home. I only feel welcome in mine. Because I know everything is and I know everything. I like everything. And so well, I will get up in the morning even though you say you cleaned everything up and you put it where you want it to be. I would have to go behind you and rearrange things. And that upset me. As I told you what the meaning of uh, my life, uh, what I do, what that looks like. You are parading your piety. Through your anxiety, turn through your pro impropriety, right? Impropriety, right? And I'm just getting stomped out because when there's a parading, and you're parading, and you're dealing with all those things, and you're dealing with all those things, and you're doing it through these things, and you're channeling through these things, and you're channeling through these things, and you're parading your um, anxiety, Jenny, through prayer, and you're stomping people out, and you're stomping people out, and so they end up feeling squished. Because whenever there's a parade, something gets stepped on. From the smallest bug to the, uh, the biggest person, I'm telling you, right, as for every parade, there's a death. Because I'm holding my parade, I'm in the air, I'm looking up, I'm doing my thing, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about you, I said I love you, I walk all over you because it's my parade. And in my parade, I'm not considering you. See how it sounds? Parade. There's no C-O-M in it, there's no community in it, there's no come in it, there's no welcome in it. You don't have to be welcome in my parade because it's my parade. So I'm dressed up for my parade, right? I got feathers for my parade. This is my parade. The smart thing, the smart, the smart student, thank you, Pastor David, will learn how to parade together. And then I, and then I just come sort of like a, 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 a come parade, right? Come parade, right? Come compartmentalize, come parade, right? Know where to put your parade and your friends' eyes. Parade. 
But I tell, like I tell Hami, I don't have a parade if you're not in it. I need you to have a float. We're sitting at the table, and then the, the, her grandfather was shooting specials at me about art and how I started and everything like that. And I'm talking to him, but I kept pointing at Harmony. I kept telling him, listen, that one there got me started. She helped me a lot, a lot more than she realizes. She, the, the things that she did when she prayed for me, when she would talk to me, even when I was on Tangle Court, when she could not come inside the door, she had to stay 10 feet away from the door when we talked, the glass door outside of my house. Nobody come to my apartment, but outside of the, the building, she had to stay 10 feet away from the door. Because they didn't know what COVID was. The things that she did like that, those things kept me going. He said, you have a grand, a grand uh, understanding of color and how color works and how things work together with color. I said, I'm pointing at God and that one right there, that, your granddaughter. And she said, she, she gives a lot of credit what credit isn't due. No. You're looking at what happened from your perspective. Every parade that had Muhammad had going on in her life, whether I was a part of it physically or not, she made me feel like I was a part of her life. I was a part of her life. Does she get on my nerves? Yes. Absolutely. But I've learned to love her, not in spite of that. I've learned to love her because of it. Because the things that she does that gets on my nerves, I'm like, well, now I say, wow, God, is that something that I'm missing? How she's organized, put together, and able to be relaxed. In every situation, that girl is in that girl is in situations every week that would boggle the human mind. She handles things with such a cool spirit that the normal person would freak out about. And then next, and ready to take on next challenge. And he tells he tells a story about how they were at him and his wife um, Evelyn were at this um, uh, place on the, the boardwalk. The boardwalk it was at the hotel it was on the boardwalk of Ocean City. And the, there was a jet that flew by, and there was a sonic boom, and the glass just broke. And everybody, Kaya Ka, Kaya Ka, and they ran out the door. Oh my lord, oh my lord, Kaya Ka, Kaya Ka, they ran out the door, right? Ran out the door, right? And he said, Oh my lord, Evelyn, we should get out of here. She said, Why? <laughs> I said, I want to meet her. I said, That's harmony. I tell people, Harmony adds harmony to my life. She grounds me. She, I've, I've said that for years. I, I, I was like, that sounds just like her. She said, why? She said, because everybody's running. No, you don't never run with everybody running. I learned that with bullets fly. You don't never run with everybody running. She said, but, 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 but there's snow on the ground outside. They got only bathing suits and they're running outside in the snow. Why? She actually, but there's a sonic boom that the breaks on the glass. She said it was <laughs> he said it was raining glass. <laughs> he, said, he said he thought he said oh my lord he, he thought he thinks like me. So I said I need somebody around me that grounds me. I said that's her. I was like I'm you and your wife is her. She was like I'm Jamie. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm running. Yes, Jamie got one shoe on. What's going on with this picture? What's going on with this picture? She said, Jamie, do you need help with shoes? Because I see you ordering a lot of shoes lately. I was like, yes, I need shoes. Because I walk in my shoes so much. I walk in my shoes so much that the, that the heel falls off. So she said that there's a glue out there. That way you can glue your shoes back together. And then she showed me her shoes and she had already glued them. She showed me her sneakers. I'm like, still waiting for the name of the glue. I was like, what is the glue? Does she know? I can repair my shoes. I have to throw my shoes away. I have a pair of jean sneakers that I want to repair. They've been sitting there. I have not been able to wear them for four, four or five months. Because the heel came off. She grounds me. Oddly enough, if you look, God has given you people like that in your life, right? That ground you. Or, and also, comma, but, however, comma, but, that you ground them, right? I know Miss Karen grounds Pastor Tim. <laughs> oh, Pastor Tim, Pastor Tim. He's so precious. He's so cute. He's a precious, look, you know? You know Miss Karen ground him. I said, well, God, what's going to happen to me? Because <laughs> I need somebody to ground me. I know Pastor David look at me sometimes. Like, uh, Simon! Pastor David literally looked like Simon. Like he's looking at me. I'm Jamie. But he looked like Jesus used to call Simon. 
Let's just call Peter. Simon, we got mad at him. <laughs> Peter would do stuff that would take him five steps back. You gotta go five steps back now. Oh, I don't ever want to go back. Oh, I don't like that. If you take me back, oh, I don't like that. I don't even remember what happened. A guy told me something. I was like, God, you need to bring up old stuff sometimes. He was like, Jamie, you just did that five minutes ago. Five seconds ago, you thought about it. I was like, yeah, but that, oh, that's old. That's in the past. Forgetting those things that are behind us and looking to what lies ahead. We got press. <laughs> I said, I like going back. I don't like, I don't like remembering. I don't like things. I don't want to remember. So I'm like, oh, you got to go back. He took him back. And it frustrated me so much. It made my blood run backwards. And I, I could feel it. I tell Kirk, I was like, I feel like my blood is running backwards. I told, I've been telling that for years. And now we know what it is. It's my aorta. <laughs> my aorta actually. My blood, my flow runs backwards. I don't like, I don't like, I, I, I don't like that. I don't like somebody when, they, especially when you be a disciple and they tell you you gotta go back. It's like, why? Like, just tell me. Like, fix it. Fix it in me. I, I don't, I, I feel like that sometimes. You have people, God has given you people in your life to, to ground you. Because I like to wander. I'm an artist. I like to wander. And the reason why, when Miss Cindy asked about that, but she said, what is your picture of wandering? And everybody's like, oh, sheep. Oh, yeah, sheep. Oh, yeah. When I, Miss Anne Marie was like, oh, yeah, when I like to go to the store, I like to wander in the store. That I love. So I, was like, look, I looked at her point out, Miss Anne Marie, we got to go shopping. Because I love that. Just go in the store and just look, look, look. You don't have to buy nothing. You could, and even, I feel like, okay, so I'm Jamie. So I feel like I, I have to talk to the receptionist. I talk to people. And I have to make them smile. And then I have to buy something. I have to buy, I don't care if I buy a sock. One sock. I have to buy something. Because I have to make your day. I'm just, I'm, that's Jamie. I'm, I'm, that's Jamie. So if I go in the store, I'll, I go in the store thinking I'm going to wander, but I'm going there to make somebody's day. I'm not going there and say, okay, leave, leave there and let you have a day where you did not make anything. If, if, I'm, if for nothing else, I'm going to add 20 cents to your, your bucket. Because you let me wander. But I wonder how wandering would have looked to the Israelites in, in the Red Sea. This is why wandering is wrong. You not say, uh-uh. She said, so what does wandering look like? I, and people start talking about, oh, yeah, I like wandering. I said, like, uh-uh. I was like, wandering is never right. It's never right. They said, we can't think of scriptures for that. We don't have, nobody knows these scriptures for that. Miss Jackie stood. I'm done with her right now. Well, I don't even want to. She stood up. She stood up. I see. She said, pointed at me and said, Jamie knows scriptures. Don't do, don't. No, I don't. Stop it. <laughs> I have never told her a scripture for wandering. Never. <laughs> if I thought about it, I could probably find one, you know? Because I wasn't thinking sheep. The Holy Spirit was teaching me something different. The Holy Spirit was teaching me to be patient. And I think the reason why he's teaching me to be patient is because he knew Miss Jackie was going to stand up. She is so precious to me. Stand up. Why do you want to stand up and do that? She stood up and she tall. People see you. You have to stand up. She stood up. She said, point at me. Point down at me. Jack, because I was sitting in the chair. But she stood up. Jamie knows some. Why? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. That's exactly what I said. No, I don't. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I said, plus my, 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 my picture of wandering is not the sheep. I was like, can I say one thing? My picture of wandering is not the sheep. My picture of wandering is a deer. I said, you know, have any of you guys heard that song? As the deer panned for the water so my soul longeth after you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship thee. My picture is a deer. My picture is the, but the wander, when the wandering comes in, I see the deer. But my picture is, my, my picture is not never good for wandering. Why? Because I, I told myself, why? I said, because of the fact that when the deer wanders, the deer never knows that it's a, a thirsty here. As a deer panteth for the water. As a deer panteth for the water. When a deer pants, ha, 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 it is not panting because it can't breathe. You think a dog is panting, ha, 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 because it can't breathe. The dog is not panting. I've never had animals. I've never had deer. I've never had dog. Ha, ha, 
<laughs> it's panting because of the fact that it's thirsty. I'm thirsty. I need some water. Wandering. In water. That's where we go. Wandering. In water. That's where we are. Right? Because we have water. The Israelites did not have the living water. That's why Joseph did that to that baker. They did not have the living water. All they had was bread. And maybe it's just that Joseph spiritually in his spirit did not realize it. And spirit just went to party, so he kept the wine, they kept the cup baker, um, cup bearer, and let the baker die. My contention is if you dying, let's pray about it. Come on, let's pray about it. Samuel, Samuel will be acting up. I had to share a room with him. Samuel will be acting up all day long, all day long. Come on, Samuel, say it. Let's pray about it. Let's pray about it. He, he'd be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. he stopped crying because I said I was going to pray about it with him. Christina, like you torment to my son. <laughs> I think no, we we'll pray with him. I'm, let's pray about some stuff. Let's pray. Let's have prayer. <laughs> he, he, he just put it, he got his hands up and all that. He just pulls his hand down real slow. <laughs> let's pray about it. Let's go on the let's get on the family. Come on, get on the <laughs> As a deer panted for. If I'm panting, I need water, not air. Because a deer, right? Here's the thing. Dehydration is one thing when my medicine that always catches up on me. That's why I have to take those saline. I need to take another one now, right? Because I have to fill my body with water. Here's the, you also, mama, the, 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 you think that you are dehydrated because, it's, uh, because of your mouth. You are not, right? You must, I drink water all night and all day. You must fill your cells with water. It is your cells that need to be filled. Especially for me because I take salt medicine. So I need to fill my cells with water. That way when I walk, when I go play, it says, right, I have water to combat the salt that's in my body. So the salt doesn't eat up the water because salt is a natural preservative and it will eat up all the liquid in your life if you let it. Bye-bye. So bye-bye. even though I was up there with the VBS people at Pastor Digius, they, they, uh, Amber had to go give me salt and water. It tastes disgusting. Salt and water, but I have to have it. If you are lost, you are, it's because you are wandering. I know my pastors have a great mission and we must come under the mission. Commission. You know how you know if you're ready to come under the mission? If you submit it to him and his wife. If you come under submission. Submission. If I submission to them, they are so precious to me. They are so cute. If I submission to Pastor David and Miss Andrea. Don't make them mad though. Don't do that. That's wrong. Don't do that. If you submit them come in submission, that means I come under the mission with them, then I'm ready for co-mission. I'm ready to come together with their mission outside of it. But I found out the reason why I was mad about my art is because of the fact that I'm immature. I'm an, I'm an immature artist who peaked too early. That's what I told her to She was like, I used to do that. I used to feel like they were my babies if you touch them. I was like, oh, you understand? She's like, yes, I used to do that. I said, oh. So I'm immature. She was like, no. She said, but I used to feel that way. And she started talking about things, talking about galleries and everything. I said, so I'm immature. She said, no. I just looked at her like, what are you, what are you, what, what's going on? What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Bring Jesus to do it. What is this? No. She said, I'm just saying, Jamie, that, you know, once I, once you, once now you will get over it. Like you will, she said, you will grow out of that. That will stop happening. You grow out of that. I said, so I'm immature. She laughed so hard and she said, no. I said, Miss D, just say it. I peaked too early. I'm immature. I'm immature. That's what they call amateur artists. Because amateur artists, you start, you start off and you, you can't get into anywhere. But six months after I painted my first painting, I got in the museum. I'm immature. I peaked too soon. I said, God, I peaked too soon? Am I hurting the body because I peaked too soon? I said, I'm going I'm, 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 I'm make Pastor David yell at me. I'm going to make Pastor David yell at me. I'm going to do it. If you don't want to do it, I'm 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 untie a shoe or something, or then throw a chair down or something. I'm gonna do something to make him yell. Cause we gotta fix this. If I can, if this is a gift and God is saying that this is a gift and I can't use it for the body, then what is it? What what good is it? If I can't use it for the body, then what is this? And that's what Pastor Trey after this. I said I apologize and I'm sorry and I'm immature. And I got up at 5 o'clock this morning, sent him another text message, I said, and I'm going to talk to Miss Brenda about it today. We're going to make a plan. And hopefully, we'll make a fast plan. She don't like doing nothing fast, though. She wants to do everything slow. We'll make a fast plan, so I won't be immature no more with my art. Because I'm a five-year-old. I've been doing this for five years. Almost. 
I'm just getting into a lot of places. I'm getting a museum, chamber of commerce. I'm, I'm hanging in places. Well, this doesn't have for people, what, 20, 30 years. Ms. D has not hung in the kind of chamber of commerce. So I'm a jerk. I, I, I'm, I'm an art jerk now. I'm a bottle jerk and an art jerk. I am. Pastor David's going to have to yell at me. He wants to do it. I'm just squeeze my eyes one time. And, and, and hold on to my fist. That's what I thought this morning when I woke up. I said, you going to have to yell at me. You're going to have to do something. Hold on, like, hold my fist real tight, like, hold my fist, like, make a fist and hold it. But I got nails, so it's hard to do that. But hold my fist! And excuse my eyes real tight. Oh! You got to scream. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Just do it! Just do it, Pastor David! He's so nice, he can't do it. I don't think he can do it. But he can do it. I make him do it. I make him do it. I'm gonna keep doing stuff until he do it. Because this can't stay. I can't be asking forever. This can't stay. I can't be Aspen and, 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 a, and a, a member. My, 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 my. You can't have Aspen's that are members. Mm-mm. 